What's going on everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here. Real quick, just wanted to do a little video of my last couple of fragrances from Thursday up until today. No further ado, let's get right into it. Thursday, I've, which I've already done a video about it, I wore this little guy. And that is from the House of Sensual Obsessions. It's Kevin Holt's Sensual Obsessions version of Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, pros and cons of Sensual Obsessions, to me, the fragrances are a little bit linear. That's not a problem for me because I wear a lot of cologne oils, which are the same way. Pros, I think for what you pay for these, I think you get a really, really good value because you get a fragrance that is high quality, handcrafted, handmade, uh, a lot of personal touches that unless you're into fragrances, you just, you know, to me, the, just the label on that is a personal touch compared to this. You know, this is Coach Platinum. I'll get to that in a minute, but I think you get a great value for your money out of Central Obsessions. You guys need to check it out. Go over there and get you some. This one, to me, is a... It, I wore that Thursday night. It lasted all night. Stayed on my skin. It wasn't a beast mode projector, but it was did have a lot of longevity. And I liked it. In fact, I could smell it on my bed sheets the next morning when I woke up. And to me, that is a great thing. I smelled it all throughout the day on my bed sheets. Every time I would, you know, go in there to do something or move the sheet or whatever, I could smell that. And to me, that's a good thing. That's a sign that it's got some pretty good staying power. And that is Kevin Holt's Sensual Obsessions version of Baccarat Rouge 540. That was my scent of Thursday night. Longevity on it, six, eight hours, maybe even more. If you've got good cologne skin, you might get eight to ten. Projection on it was not as strong. Projection on it was maybe an hour and a half to two hours on me. Um, but it did hang around as a scent a lot longer than it projected. Uh, again, that's Kevin Holt's version of Baccarat Rouge 540. Moving along. Friday morning, I had some errands to run, went in town to get me something to eat. What I chose to wear was this bad boy. And that is Aeropostale's Prime Platinum. Okay, simply put, I hate to say it, dumb reach. Dumb reach fragrance all day long. Does it smell good? Yes, it does smell good. Is it complicated? No. Is it unique? No. Does it smell good? Yes. Will it get you through uh, uh, running to the grocery store or running to the post office or running to get a haircut at the bar? Yes. Is it good for that? Yes. Nice, fresh, bright, clean, not too citrusy. A um, little bit of citrus, a lot of playfulness, not a very masculine fragrance, very young, very juvenile fragrance, but it does smell good. I got this in a gift set. It was three of these, and it was nine ninety nine. And around Christmas time, they put out weird stuff, and you know, I picked it up, and it was nine ninety nine for three of those, and I thought that was a pretty good deal, considering I didn't have two of them. One of them I already had. Um, I think it had in there that one, which is Prime Platinum Maximum and discovery and i you know really like all three of them so yeah and for 9.99 i couldn't leave them and this was my scent of friday during the day again performance on it is not that great maybe an hour and a half of projection three hours of longevity that's all you're going to get but that's enough to get you through running an errand so if you see it at a good price you might want to add it you might not depending on where you're at in fragrances Moving along. The next one is what I wore Friday night, Coach Platinum. Now to me, after this has been on my skin about five minutes, it gives me a Tom Ford fabulous type of vibe. That's just me. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to disagree and that's fine. That's what you know the fragrance world is all about. We don't have to agree. It is what it is. Are they dead ringers? No, but I get a vibe. I get the same vibe. Now, they go in totally different directions. I get that. I understand that. So I'm not saying that this is an alternative to Tom Ford. That's not what I'm saying. That's not at all. What I'm saying is I pick up on some slight similarities. That's just me. Now, fragrance smells good. It's a sexy, masculine, date night fragrance that I think anybody will enjoy. I think if you wear that on a date, you're going to impress them. They're going to think you spent a lot of money and you smell good. Downside to that fragrance, performance. It does not perform well at all. 
it does go through the stages and then it is gone. I get maybe an hour and a half of projection with maybe three hours of longevity and then, and then I'm sniffing, searching for it. That's all I get out of it. So, I paid 50 bucks for it. Is it worth that? No, it's not. Maybe I should have bought a smaller bottle, uh, whatever. If you come across this in the right situation at the right price, I highly, I highly recommend it. Search, do your research. I don't even recommend that you play gray market prices for that. I think you should try to find somebody selling a bottle, decant you some, or whatever. I don't recommend that you pay over $30 for it because it just doesn't perform that well. I don't care what size bottle it is. If you can get it under 30, I think home run, get it all day long. More than that, I think you're going to be disappointed because it's just not going to last very long. Yeah. But does it smell good? Yes. Is it a great day night fragrance? Absolutely. Absolutely. It is. Yep. It is. I recommend that you get it, but be wise. Now that I'm saying that though, any fragrance that you got that you guys buy, shop around. Do your research. Try to get get it at the best price that you can. But also remember, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So watch out and be careful what you're buying is also also. Yep, Coach Platinum was my scent of the night. Scent of the day was Air Apostles Prime Platinum. And scent of Thursday night was Sensual Obsessions Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, come over and find me on Facebook, uh, Trey Scents as well. And then I have a little group, Trey Scents Fragrance Reviews. You can talk about fragrances, post your center today, whatever. And, guys, I'm fixing to get off here. I hope everybody has a great Saturday. Thank you for all the support. Until next time, guys, peace.